Okay, so this is not a joke. This is real, and this really happened. And I just got home tonight with my family, so my wife's shooting this video. I'm in a bankruptcy hearing, personal and corporate for InfoWars, and the Justice Department is involved and asked me to be, ordered me to be at a hearing today. And they spent probably five minutes of the meeting that was over three hours long on my cat. Well, this is Mushu, my five-year-old daughter named Mushu this two years ago. And they wanted to know if assets were hidden in the cat. The cat was like $2,000. And it is a ragdoll cat, and we really do love it. But they were very serious about the cat and its value, and they may want the cat for the Sandy Hook families. Alex Jones, who owes almost $1.5 billion in court awarded damages to the families of Sandy Hook victims, is now accusing authorities of trying to take his cat away because of his bankruptcy proceedings. The video, which his wife posted to Twitter, continued where he claimed that this was harassment and that they are not getting his cat. Uh, this is next level. This is harassment. No one's ever heard of this. My lawyers never heard of this. Uh, this is just insane. And I mean, what, do you want my children next? Do you want to like sacrifice my children or something? So, so this cat is really sweet. My daughter really likes the cat. Uh, he's a little bit tired of me holding him. But I mean, here he is. This is, this, is, this is the terrorist right here that they want. And this is the reality uh, that we live here in America in 2023. Justice Department hearings with people laughing in the background when they say, we want your cat. And it was kind of like that woman on the grand jury in Georgia, like, I wanted to put, get Trump under my control. And, and they're literally like, tell us about your cat. You know, what's your cat's value? They're trying to like stir me up or something. It doesn't stir me up. It makes me really upset uh, for this country. They're mad they don't have these billions of dollars they claimed I did. Just because they lied to the media and said I had these things, it's not real. And now they want my cat. Okay, so according to Jones, that is harassment. But Jones, would you consider this harassment? Sandy Hook, it's got inside job written all over it. Sandy Hook is a synthetic, completely fake, with actors, in my view, manufactured. I couldn't believe it at first. People just instinctively know that there's a lot of fraud going on. Uh, but it took me about a year with Sandy Hook to come to grips with the fact that the whole thing was fake. I mean, even I couldn't believe it. I knew they jumped on it, used the crisis, hyped it up. But then I did deep research, and my gosh, it just pretty much didn't happen. I mean, I've interviewed the cops and the, and, and the people that saw the feds plant the bombs in Oklahoma City. You saw them stage Fast and Furious. Folks, they staged Aurora. They staged Sandy Hook. The evidence is just overwhelming. The Newtown kids, oh. They take them, put them in our face, tell us their names, who they were. Or what about having your followers go after these families and attack them? That surely must be harassment if them inquiring about your cat, which you listed on a form of assets, is harassment. Of course, he doesn't think that. Um, but he's also been accused uh, by lawyers of the Sandy Hook families of shielding his assets in the aftermath of the landmark defamation lawsuit. Insider reported that in November, the Washington Post reported that Jones had transferred millions of dollars out of his InfoWars parent company to entities controlled by families and friends ahead of its bankruptcy filing. A more recent revelation showed that Jones had paid more than $1.3 million to his wife and his parents, David Ross Jones and Carol Jones, according to a bankruptcy filing from February 14th of this year. Now, Jones' personal bankruptcy has so far protected him from paying out defamation payments and judgments to his, and also creditor collection efforts. But he is still required to list all the personal and household items he owns. Bankruptcy filings show that Jones currently owns three homes in Austin, Texas, three cars, and two boats. His assets are worth approximately $10 million. And Jones also put his cat on the list of personal and household possessions. But it's likely authorities have bigger assets to go after. I highly doubt they're gonna go for the cat before they go for the boat. <laughs> um, but what else did we find on these documents? Well, one thing the documents required was that he identify property in his possession that he did not own, which led to this wonderful headline from Insider. 
Alex Jones bankruptcy filing shows that he has guns that belong to January 6 rioters. Must have just accidentally made their way in there. <laughs> Alex Jones has no connection to January 6th. It's not like he spoke at the rally leading up to it or anything. Mm -hmm. But we also got to learn <laughs> a little bit about Jones's spending habits, which are a total of almost $100,000 a month from Insider. Jones's biggest monthly outgoings included more than $40,000 on taxes. $14,000 on child care and education, $10,000 on alimony and child support, and $7,450 monthly spending on home repairs and maintenance. The filings also show that he spends $4,500 a month in total on entertainment, clubs, recreation, newspapers, magazines, and books. Although I don't know if he'd be able to read them. That being said, some of those expenses I'm sure Alex Jones has had prior to receiving the judgment for the Sandy Hook case. But now I, I have a strong feeling that he's just spending all the income that he's getting to make himself look poorer than he really is. Cenk, what do you think? Yeah, so I hope they take everything from him. Um, and so this guy, and we get a little of this guy, uh, he's like, well, oh my God, I can't believe they're trying to take all my stuff. I mean, I, I've got no money left, I don't, I don't know what they're trying to take. They're trying to take my cat, uh, but I gotta spend $100,000 a month. I mean, that's the bare minimum. <laughs> really? $100,000 a month, now think about it guys, that's post taxes, right? So that's 1.2 million post taxes per year, that means tax pre-taxes, he's making two to two and a half million that he's saying is just the bare minimum for the upkeep of his goddamn cat and other things, right? And so, and he's like, this is next level harassment. To, I mean, to not let me spend millions of dollars and then and have this Mushu or Mr. Bigglesworth or whatever the cat's <laughs> name is. I, oh, this is next level harassment. I mean, when I, one of the families of the murdered children had to move six different times because lunatic Alex Jones fans kept going up to them and, and threatening them because they knew that they were crisis actors and their kids didn't exist. I mean, that is a minor miracle. No one got hurt in that situation. And that's why he owes all this money, because he lied and lied. And you saw the tapes, I did deep research and all my research and all the facts lead to. And now he says, oh, by the way, in court, if you're an Alex Jones fan, you're a total sucker. He says in court, oh no, I don't believe that. He lies to you, that's his business model, man. And by the way, you know what he lists? This is a hilarious little uh, snippet here. When I had to list what he does for a living, Jones listed himself as a media personality and Dietary supplemental sale, supplement sales person, because that is how he makes his money. Yeah, that's not a lie. Yeah, that's so he could have been a little bit more honest. The dietary supplements come in, I think, second. Number one is the penis pills, I think, uh, that he sells. So he's a penis pill salesman. That's who he is. And a bunch of knuckleheads are going around, go, oh no, the penis pill salesman did a, a lot of research, uh, and so let's go harass. The poor parents of kids who were murdered. And now we're gonna cry about your cat? No, no sympathy for you, none. I hope they take everything, your cat, your dog, your house, everything. And it, by the way, the guy's also like trying to hide the money in a thousand different ways, shoveling it to his parents, etc. And yeah. then going, oh my cat, my cat. What will I do without Mr. Bigglesworth? <laughs> He's $2,000. <laughs> he has, uh, I'm so glad you mentioned that because he's taken great pains to move money around and he has tried to avoid the penalties. But really the first point is that this is one of the most grotesque people you could ever look in on. And for him to uh, complain that he's being harassed for all the reasons that uh, Jenk has mentioned and that we all know, uh, he's ruined lives. Uh, to the point that he's had to uh, been uh, that he's been taken to court. Uh, th that was the only, if you will, uh, some kind of retribution that those families could have. Uh, I, I I was so moved by these families and their plight. Uh, this is a a group of people whose whose lives have been forever uh, destroyed in one sense, and this guy is haunting them. He and his minions. Are haunting them. So yes, uh, you know, normally I'd be on the side of cat lovers, but even his cat, he goes to a breeder and buys a two thousand dollar cat. Um, 
I, I, I want every bad thing imaginable in terms of taking things that can break his heart away from this guy. And let's uh, uh, let's just focus on the fact that it's laughable that he could complain harass that he could complain of harassment, Cenk. It's uh, yeah. uh, this is a this is an awful guy. So look, there's one uh, other way of thinking about it: rescue the cat. <laughs> Rescue yeah. the cat from Alex Jones, like one of the most evil men on earth. Uh, and b by the way, also remember, this guy's a raging lunatic. We now we've seen the text because of the same trial, and he's like constantly talking about how he's in a black hole of depression and his life is miserable. He's lashing out at everybody. He's having his wife tracked by Blackwater thugs. Meanwhile, he's having an affair of his own while he's pretending the wife has issues. His wife is sending him penis pics, which uh, and saying, "Oh, I know how much you're gonna love this." And and he's got all these co conflicts and self hatred and etc. Meanwhile, Joe Rogan, Tim Pool, almost all the right wing media hosts are like, "What a wonderful, great statesman, Alex Jones! Let's hear what this guy has to say. He's saying such important things. He's so legitimate, incredible. What a great guy, Alex Jones is." Anyone who doesn't think Alex Jones is a lunatic is deeply troubled or Alex Jones has something on him, think about it. Here at the Young Turks, we do our best to bring you the most essential news stories of the day. But we can't cover everything in a two hour show. And for the rest, I recommend Ground News. Founded by a former NASA scientist, Ground News uses a revolutionary system that analyzes where the news is coming from and gives you complete transparency on the potential biases these sources may have. That way you can read between the lines of media bias and break free from the corporate media agenda. In arming you with the context and transparency, you'll have everything you need to think critically about the news and build responsible media literacy for yourself and others. With Ground News, you're not just mindlessly consuming the media, you're part of a movement that is working to hold them accountable and get straight to the facts. Break through the filter bubbles, the propaganda and the bias and subscribe to Ground News today.